Daniel chapter number 7 verse number 20 and 21 and the ten horns that were in his head and of the other which came up and before whom three fell even of that horn that had eyes and a mouth that spake very great things whose look was more stout than his fellow I beheld in the same horn made war with the saints and prevailed against them in the latter part of verse number 20 we're talking about this little horn that came up that had eyes intelligence and then a mouth that spake great things you, you, you see a lot of times a lot of individuals are trying to identify who Antichrist really is this person is Antichrist and that person is Antichrist and so many times it has proven to be false down through the years you will not have to look for Antichrist Antichrist will look for you Antichrist will make it a abundantly clear who he is the scripture tells us he will speak great things he will proclaim to everyone who he is he will say that he is God he will not be bashful he will start out in support but when he thinks the time is right then he's going to take the wraps off and he will let the world know about his wicked intentions but let's go back to the scriptures now it also talks about how he will make war the little horn or the same horn will make war with the saints and prevail now someone may say in the mind wait a minute how can the devil prevail over God's people well let's take a look uh, let's go to 2 Thessalonians the second chapter let's start with verse number 3 and read down to verse number 7 this is the apostle Paul or Rabbi Saul talking let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or that is worship so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God showing himself that he is God remember ye not that when I was yet with you I told you these things and now ye know what would hold us that he might be revealed in his time for the mystery of iniquity does already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. We, we, we find fascinating scriptures here. The Apostle Paul is saying, first of all, don't let anyone deceive you. Christ is just not going to pop on the scene. There are things that has to occur first. Some people say Christ will come back anytime now. Well, the Bible doesn't teach that. Right here. One of the things that the apostle said is first had to be a falling away. It says, and after the falling away, I mean, he's not coming back anytime. He said, then after, and that man of sin, which is Antichrist, the son of perdition, the son of hell. He's also called the man of lawlessness. He's also called the beast, Antichrist, all the same person. And then this is what we were saying er earlier. 
who opposes and exalts himself all that is called God. You see, there will not be any shame to Antichrist or that is worship. So he so that he as God sits in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. You see, there will not be any question of who the beast is, who Antichrist is. He will make it abundantly clear who he is. But then, verse number six and seven, it talks about how he who let will let. This is talking about the restraining power of the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit. How throughout time and throughout history, the Holy Spirit has been restraining the spirit of Antichrist. Isn't it fascinating? Christ shows up in a few short years. You already have the spirit of Antichrist working. Wherever God sends an original, the adversary will send a counterfeit. That's the reason why he will send his satanic son of perdition, son of hell, before the son of God makes his return. But we can see Antiochus Epiphanes, Antichrist, the spirit of Antichrist, the spirit of God put him under subjection. He ruled in terror or he terrorized the people of God for about three years. Then the Maccabee revolt brought that to the end. The Roman Empire thought it was a game. Use humans, believers as human candles for their night parties. They came out in the arenas to watch the wild beast feed on the saints of God. How depraved was that? You go on to Hitler and his master plan. And Antichrist will probably have some of all of these and some more wicked new ideas as well. All the spirit of Antichrist, all will be cut down and brought to an end by the spirit of God. God, we bless you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We praise you and thank you. Thank God.